Kyle? Yeah. I saw the new Skylanders. Yeah. And you don't know what it is, do you? I have not seen... I don't know. I don't know what you're about to tell me right well, now. But that's the interesting thing about the franchise is you have something like Infinity where everyone was like, oh, okay, Star Wars, next. You know, yeah. it's like everyone was like past that announcement like 10 months ago. Well, I legitimately, I sat down and was like, I, you know, I heard some rumors about what you guys might do, but uh, no idea. It is called Skylanders Supercharged. And it's okay, vehicles. Okay, can, can I guess? Oh, oh whoa, that, wouldn't, that is not what I guessed at all. Yeah, vehicles. Huh. Uh, vehicles being... Uh, water vehicles, land vehicles, and air vehicles. Sure. Uh, so the first thing that I think is cool about what they're doing is not so much with the water and not so much with the air because, like, you would actually have to, like, put it in water or, like, throw it for it to, like, achieve its, like, yeah. you know, battle action. But all the vehicles have turning wheels. So, like, they are in and of themselves cool toys. So, like, we, I, like, took the little race car dude and was just, like, running around on the carpet, like, you know. Yeah. So, like, you can actually play with that so that is still... A, a cool toy. How many typical Skylanders fit in a vehicle? Uh, they don't actually go into the vehicle because they oh. all have different bases and stuff like that. But yeah. you have to just like the um, uh, just like the other characters, you have to put that also in the base. So the bases probably change dramatically. They have a new base, and it's get oh, it's going to be digital downloads. So if you need, if you want to use any of the old bases. So I don't think it, when they, I, I oh, think cool. like that's a big deal actually. That that's like a huge you deal. can use old bases. Yeah. Uh, because I think they they put so much focus in the vehicles this time that like. The um, the cool compatibility with like the traps where you would like put the trap in and they had the voice box like actually in the they're like we're not really focusing on the base this year like Good we're idea. focusing on these the totally different types of figures that you've had before yeah so one of the things I really like about Skylanders I think one of the things that differentiates it from the other series other than I think graphically being you know the best as far as like animation and stuff like that are concerned are these little like weird like um, WarioWare esque, like crazy mini games that you would do where you'd have to learn like a new control scheme in like a second and be like, wait, what was I doing? Oh, I was on a balloon and okay, wait, let me try that again. Yeah. Or like Mario, like the old good, like Mario Party mini games. The mini games are a little bit lacking in the new one. So uh, the vehicles basically fit perfectly into that. So you just like have your character and then you'll get to a point where you're like, oh, it's, it's clearly like a racetrack for, you know, and I'll get my little submarine. And the submarine he had had a little twisty thing on the top and so. Uh, the um, propeller in the back spun. So they ha all have a little bit of motion to it. The ship was still just like a ship, but it was like a cool looking, like, you know, it's like an X-Wing. It's like there's not a lot of, you can make the wings separate, but it's it just, you know. This stuff is cool to me. Can I tell you why? Sure. We talk about toys to life. None of them feel like toys to me. You know, toys are things that you can play with. Yeah. And these are statues. These are statues to life. Right. I'm very excited <laughs> that you have toys that you're talking about. I, the wheels moving was something, yeah, again, it's it, we, like we talked about it, like walking into the room and having no idea really what they're going to work on. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, I never really thought about them not really being toys. Yeah. Like they were, I mean, that, uh, Infinity took a lot of criticism when it first came out that you couldn't move. You know, a lot, of, a lot of figures you can't. You know, like Amiibo, right. you can't. Never. Um, so there are, so this, there are the superchargers. Wait, yes, the, the superchargers. are the superchargers. No, the new Skylanders are the superchargers. Okay. So they have, like, you know, giants, like, oh, I gotta go get the giants. And then yep. the trap masters, and like, gotta go get the trap masters. And now um, they're the supercharged characters, and uh, there's 20 of them, and they have, uh, there's 20 vehicles and 20 supercharged characters. So every character has, like, their specific vehicle that they dig. Oh. And so, um, uh, I don't know. It seemed like it might be cryptic that you might not actually know. That might not actually say like, "Oh, this guy in this vehicle." They that, that. But when you put them together, you get like a cool bonus, and uh, you can like have abilities and stuff like that that they so can't my do. So my old Spyro can still pilot a new vehicle. Yeah, he can rock out in okay. any vehicle. But like the superchargers are very, you know, like they can only go in. You, you need a at least a supercharger to get into certain areas, and then of course they'll have like, you need a supercharger of the fire element to get through this area. Yeah. Um, but uh, I thought it would cool. I thought it was cool that they had like there was definitely a difference. Um, you know, they have like the big intros where they bring the characters in. Yeah, but, uh, actually. And uh, so like they had a crazy intro when you like actually put the right guy with the right vehicle. Like the tires were on fire, and you know he was doing all sorts oh, of crazy cool. stuff. So you get those right, and they're cool. Um, a lot of them are new characters, but they also are supercharging old Skylanders, which they've never done before. So they, I would they they've had like. Kind of like with bigger horns, right? But yeah. these are like n like new weapons, new. They like basically totally reimagined like the aesthetic of the character. And one they had was a uh, the the stealth ninja, um, who was super shot stealth elf now, and uh, had a more like ranged attacks, which doesn't seem very stealthy, but like had cool stealth moves where uh, she'll disappear and then the gun will just become a turret wherever you disappeared from, and then you can like run over 
and do a quest objective or something while everyone's going up and attacking your weapon. So they're like, she's still kind of stealthy, but we have this new thing, and they, that was the only one that they introduced. Cool. So it's cool that they're going back and revisiting some of the old characters if like people have been a fan of that stuff. Um, but the races were cool. They had a submarine race that uh, you had to do- dodge things by going underneath the water, and then you had to like dodge things that were underneath the water by going back up and jumping over them. So it was kind of like managing mentally like these two planes. Describe the thrill of the submarine race. I didn't get to play it, uh-huh. um, but um, uh, just in the speed that it would take to process, like, oh, I got to go underneath this thing, kind of like run, uh, Temple Run. You know, kind of like running games. Okay. Where it's just so like you're it's recognizing like your environment. Like, brr, 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 yeah, no, no, no. It's yeah, it's pretty fast. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, and the the airship stuff is like you know it's it's on a you're basically going through a tunnel. You know, it's like on rails, but uh, you can move around in that space. Um, and then the races are classic races where uh, I don't know if they'll have any like multiplayer component to that. It just seemed you know it's just a single player race. But um, you know, you get weapons that you can shoot, and you're going up jumps and stuff. Uh. Did you play any of the, like the just a regular version where it's like like you said with Stealth Elf, where you're just like playing the game? The starter pack comes with Hot Streak, which is a car, Spitfire, which is the guy who gets in the car. I might have those backwards, and Super Shot Stealth Elf, um, and um, uh, but Hot Streak, Dive Bomber, and the Sky Slicer were the three vehicles that they showed. Sky Slicer, so that such was a the, good that was name. The plan. <laughs> yeah, they're really good at naming stuff. Um, I want. I would love that job. And you get modifications to them, and you can instantly modify them. So the, he did a thing where, like, he was in a race and went off a jump, and then unlocked the modifier by hitting an object while he was jumping, and then before he landed, swapped it to, like, added those. Like, yeah, I want those tires, and put those tires on his vehicle, and then landed the vehicle with the new tires. So you can like customize that while you're in the middle of the race, which is kind of fun. Wait, what? Is there a, like a wheel that appears? Like, how do you switch tires midair? Yeah, like he was like he unlocked something and it paused the race and was oh, like, okay. "You just unlocked this. Do you want to put it on your car right now?" And you're like, "Yep, yeah, cool, awesome." Um, so yeah, it definitely seems very. They want everything to be really accessible and hands on, uh, and uh, it looks really good. Like he opened, he clearly like opened up in an area that was all cloud based. There's lots of the like, cloud areas where like uh, the superchargers can like clear the clouds. There's some characters that are better at that because you're up in the sky. And they have lots of jokes about like Skylanders in the sky. Like, what's a sky? He's like, you're like, get out of here, Skylander! Like, the Skylanders don't belong in the sky. And he's like, wait, I know that doesn't make sense, but, um, but the just the environments look really great. And I think they've had maybe more time to kind of get used to the PS4 and the Xbox One. Yeah, when you were showing They're last year's game, it did look pretty good. So, it's very pretty that Skylanders game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the the races were fun. And like we were talking, I think the the biggest takeaway from this is just actually having those toys is fun. Yeah. So I don't know if they'll hold up in water. I don't know if your little sister is going to take your, your submarine toy <laughs> and take it in the bathtub. Uh, if that shot. would make it through it, but yeah. Water slicer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, the water was dive bomber. Dive bomber. That's such a good name. Um, they have a card game in the game called Sky Stones Overdrive. There's a lot of terminology to, Whoa, to get. Whoa, hold on. What, they, what is this about the card game? Uh, there's a card game. I guess they had one last year. Whoa. That I potentially missed. Okay. They said it's coming, returning from last year. There's an actual card game that you can... Unlock characters and cards and stuff like that. Didn't see any of that, but they just mentioned that that was coming back. That's funny. Um, so, yeah, there's lots to these now. Uh, and, of course, Chaos is the bad guy, but uh, everybody knew that already. Uh, and they, uh, uh, Infinity is, is celebrating this year that they're going to break 100 figures. Skylanders is at 300. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> so, that's a lot of... That's too many. That's gotta a lot say, of figures. That's too many figures. So, you add not only the 20 new figures that are coming, and of course, like I'm sure other you know, figures that they'll add, but uh, specifically 20 Sky Chargers, yeah. plus their vehicles, corresponding vehicles, so that's 40. Honestly, Brandon, I think the smartest thing they said is you don't need a new portal. <laughs> right? That's actually very, very smart. So you can, yeah, so you can just go out and get this, the, whatever Sky Charger vehicle combo. And that would be actually kind of cool. Yeah. They said they're going to have different packaging, but I was, I was chatting with them. I'm like, that'd be sweet if you could get, like, if you had packaging that was, like, maybe a little more expensive. But, like, no, I, I know that this vehicle and this character, like, they should. they're rocking together. Yeah, honestly, they should do that. It seems rotten the other way around. But there we go. Skylander Supercharged. Didn't actually get my hands on it, but I hopefully we'll do that at E3. At E3. So thanks for talking about toys, Cal. I like talking about toys. 